Universe, this is Herbert speaking, and I'm here with Chitzos Jason to do the first pilot episode of Meeting at the Sun. Hello if everyone, I'm Chitza. <laughs> if you haven't met Chitza, he is currently the diplomat of Infinity Explorers, CSM, and Wormhole Badass, and you may like him, you may hate him, but he knows his stuff. So I hope I do. <laughs> yeah, you do. I mean... Well, you're shit at PvP, but you're great at networking and getting the blob ready, don't you? Uh, I'm quite good at it. I don't know why, but yeah, I, I, w I would say I'm decent. If you call a blob like 100 ships, then yeah, I suppose so. Well, 100 tech 3 ships, so you get a lot of people together to say, Hey, I want to risk my 1B ship with you, and I don't even know you, know you or hate you. So, you ready? Yep, let's go. Okay, you pop drones. Let's um, start with the first question. Head each other and throw missiles at each other because you chose the Caracal. So, first question. So explain the current coalition situation. Uh, I would say the current coalition situation is not as bad as it used to be. Uh, I think we, like a year ago or so, we had uh, more of a potential coalition fight. Right now, people, there are still coalitions exist. I mean, if you can call them coalitions in a normal space where people are not actually blue to each other but, and they shoot uh, at each other, but if there's some big uh, operation goes out, uh, then, you know, they fight. So I would say it's improving, but there's still a lot of stuff to, to work out. Okay. Do you know how many sites there are currently within the coalitions? Are there just two, three, four? Um, t -t 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 sides? I wouldn't say there are any kind of sides. Uh, I would say just, you know, there are coalitions, so to say, and that's about it. It's, it's hard to talk about the sites in W space when, you know, everything is... Uh, you know, every, everyone has some kind of a, their own system. Um, would you ex uh, would you say it's more of an exchange of favors or um, to turtle up I, behind blue standings? I would, I would say it's not exchange of favors. Usually it's, you know, uh, some alliance or corporation getting friendly with another one and that's how the uh, most of the coalitions are born in W space. Uh, you know, you just talk to those people quite a lot, you start to like them and, you know, you start flying with them. It's not like, you know, someone is building up evil empire or shit like that. Uh, would you suggest uh, for smaller corporations to go out, meet guys through PvP and have some fun? Uh, absolutely. I mean, uh, most of the... Like when I was CEO of my corporation, what I did uh, usually was to kill people and then recruit them. And that worked quite well, actually. So there's no bad feelings in the end, no AWOXing? Um, uh, sometimes that happens, but it always happens, you know, AWOXing, killing, uh, uh, stealing capitals or, you know, shit like that. It's, you know, part of EVE and that happens and you just have to deal with it somehow. As long as it's on, not on the crazy level, you know, it's, what to say, capital compared to one good pilot. Well, what do you think of the friends with benefits concept where you have a grey standing with another corporation, so if you meet on an occasion in wormhole space you fight each other, but then again, if you, there's somebody is in trouble or you have a bigger target, you use of course that connection to get a bi um, your friends in and help the ones who need help. Uh, um, I don't know. It depends. It really depends on, you know, how that uh, grace, like, Friends of Benefits started. I mean, if it starts as, like, you know, let's do Friends of Benefits stuff and we are forming evil coalition, then no. But if it's, you know, actual friends, you know, and they met in W space, I don't see, you know, a, a problem. You know, it's a, something, you know, what people create, and if people create something in EVE, uh, like a coalition or some kind of, uh, like, Friends of Benefits stuff, I'm all for it. I mean, I'm not uh, for blobbing, but, you know, it sounds like fun. Um, can you give us some insight on how actually those coalitions communicate with each other? Is it just via fire intel channel or are there other means? Well, it depends on the coalition. Uh, usually some, some just communicate when it's needed, some have their channels, some have like even separate TeamSpeak setup. 
uh, it's you know, you have to understand that those collisions in W space are not as big as nullsec collisions. So uh, the communication is quite easier compared to uh, compared to like nullsec blobs because they have like 10,000 players, one line, 10,000 players, and over. If you have like this uh, friends with benefits stuff, for example, like between two 100 man corporations, you know, they can just convo each other all day and they don't really need specialized ch intel channels sometimes like uh, usually those intel channels are set up uh, when there's already a big operation on, on the way uh, it's there usually to set up for you know logistics for the uh, actual planning work between like ceos and fcs so it's it's usually i would say during the operation where those channels are used the most um what do you think would um, look, an all-out wormhole war. Is there any? Is it even possible at the moment? Well, I think Russians have to be involved in that, <laughs> to some degree or another. Uh, I don't know. There has to be uh, for war to uh, spread out. There has to be a lot of hate or a lot of personal reasons usually, because uh, there's not there's not much stuff to uh, fight over in wormhole space. I mean, you know. SMAs don't drop ships yet, uh, and uh, you know the main conflict driver usually is the sheer will to PvP or sheer will to to hate someone. Okay. Um, in light of the latest events, and since I'm almost going down, do you have any shoutouts? Uh, I would like to give a shoutout to my mates in Exile. Uh, we had a like, really nice fight yesterday in Nullsec. We jumped our dreadnoughts and carriers, so that was fun. And I'm out! The interview is over! Woohoo! Well, thank you, Jitsu. This was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> for the audience, if you have comments, put them on Reddit, YouTube, EVE Online forums. If you have suggestions, put them there too. Thank you, Jitsu. This was fucking awesome. Please don't part me. And what? see what? you in the next episode. Uh, see ya.